the employment numbers. Now they got new employment numbers. Uh, yeah, they, okay. Uh, the employment number, employment went down from 5.5 to 5.3. It's all bogus. Uh, it's 94 million, just under 94 million people, uh, Americans are out of the work, out of the workforce. The workforce participation rate is 62.6. The worst is 1976. Um, 55, 54, 55 million of the, uh, the people out of the workforce are women. 22 million are black. Right. Uh, unemployment, the actual unemployment rate is over 20%. It's going to increase and people get laid off or, or, uh, or going to part time. Uh, the salary is that salary is stagnant. Uh, between Obamacare, Dodd Frank, and, e and the EPA regulations have stifled any kind of job growth. Uh, the numbers actually, the, 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 the uh, job employment figure actually was down a little from expectations. They were looking like 240, 250,000. So the jobs actually got to 30, 230. Uh, most of them are part time because most, no full time jobs have really been made because of the healthcare law. Um, and the majority of the salaries, uh, jobs that we had, uh, 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 jobs that are that middle wage are just something above middle wage. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know. So, um, uh, that kind of the economy is stagnant. You, know, you got problems uh, with Greece, who uh, basically fully up this week. Uh, in fact, by Monday, they're not going to have any money at all. Uh, to, uh, to give out to its people. You got, uh, got Puerto Rico that's looking at Chapter 9 that defaulted at $72 billion worth of, uh, of money. Uh, that defaulted. Uh, you got Baltimore uh, that is in, in the process of going under. You got Detroit, you know. You got California that's bankrupt that, uh, that Jerry Brown trying to act its way through. And it's an uh, economic crisis, so which is not going to do the best way to do that is to close the borders, get rid of the legal. That's number one. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, and, 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 and they also need to uh, start building the dams and trying to uh, save water in a way that it doesn't have to, have to worry about one inch fish, worry about the farmers. If the farmers start getting uh, water to the land, maybe the price of food will start coming down. Right. I agree. I totally agree. So, so you know, it, 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 every city I named, every place I named is run by a progressive Democrat. If you want the better life, you better vote out all the Democrats come 2016. Yep. You better do that. Yep. Absolutely. I totally agree. So, that's all we have for you. Thank you so much for your time, Joe Golden. No problem. Remember, tomorrow is our nation's birthday, Independence Day, July 4th, 239 years old. Uh, get your flags out. Salute and thank uh, all our soldiers uh, uh, out there. We see any veterans and stuff. Uh, and uh, and uh, if it wasn't for them, we would not have our freedoms. And remember to maintain your freedom, to fight for our freedom. Go out to the polls, vote for Ted Cruz for president in the primaries. And let's make it get rid of all these progressives that are starting to steal all our liberties. Yeah, I know. And also, don't forget that. And you may lose breakfast. You may lose. Uh, you may. You may lose uh, General Hospital. You never know. Also, don't forget too the, the negotiations with Iran with John Kerry. Iran is a bad deal. Tell you call call your representatives. Tell them that everything needs <laughs> to pull out. Stop the deal with Iran. Uh, there's a corruption running. Get that number. Right, and call it and support it. Yep. I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Joe Goner. We'll see you again next week. Have a great day. And have enjoyed the holiday. Yeah. Happy Happy Fourth of Year to you. Happy Fourth. Bye bye now. Bye bye.